Hello everyone and welcome back to Changing of the for Changing of the Forte Bay. Anyway. Chain no bikini much. Uh, something like that. It's the Valkyrie outfit supposedly. Either way. Last time we Zelda loves that. Probably. Last time we we beat the first boss. And you know what that means? We we did go past the soul gate, right? Yeah, yeah we did. Should we right down here? I love being able to just jump down the stairs. Yeah, there it is. It's open! Because I really, really don't want to fight Nidhogg right now. It's the Divine Fortress! Also, in her yard. I am yard. <laughs> Spirits of powerful warriors assembled for the coming of the end. They were originally gathered at Valhalla, but were later dispatched to the Divine Fortress to attack the Aesir. They displayed their power only at the command of the Valkyrie. When their bodies turn red, they become invincible. Hmm. Shoot at the figure before you. Okay. That bluish glow is the ruin's famous barrier. It's a sizzling little trap that grips up any living thing passing through it. Hmm? If something wasn't alive, it might get be able to get through. Like steel or something. A shuriken might go through if you if you try tossing one over. I kinda figured that much. You aren't kidding, Liam. You said that this, that this game kind of hands you the solutions. It is the beginning. Gillian Bursty. A wild boar faster than any horse. Gullin Bursty is docile until he spots an enemy, upon which he bounces forward like a juggernaut. He's said to, he said to have been created by the dwarves Broker and Aetri. Just hit it from below. Why not? Yeah, there's a, there's another one of these already. Hmm. Hello. Hermod. This is the Divine Fortress. This fortress was built for the purpose of sealing away the Vanir, a race born from us six children, and one which would see the world destroyed. The hall in which they live is sealed off by a gate. We Aesir, also of the six children, have been sealed inside the Glana for continuing battle with the Vanir. No one here wishes for, for the end of the world. Would you like to hear more? Yes, he doesn't actually say more, he just repeats the same thing. Don't do anything hey, stupid, haha. <laughs> Aesir, precise. Her mode, male, drive Aesir, raise six child. A member of the Odin, the Aesir's ruling party, his brother was killed by the trickster of Yggdrasil. Feel like we've heard that before already. To save, Maybe. To save him, Hermod journeyed into the underworld alone, seeking the help of Hell. Note that the note that underworld has a uh, an uppercase. So I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna assume that there's gonna be a mention of Balder somewhere. Oh, of what? Balder. Balder was the brother slain by Loki. Oh, right. If my memory serves me. Valhalla lies beyond the gate, deep in the divine fortress. We of Odin sealed it behind that gate. Do not approach unless you pine for the end. Oh my. my of course it's the map. Also? We. Yeah, if my, if my memory, memory of mythology serves me. Vodiani. Yep. 
Wood General. A water spirit that takes the form of a frog. He is old and very slow, but still lives like a frog. Hmm. Aim and yeah, shoot. No shit! <laughs> if my memory serves me, uh... Uh... Balder was slain by Loki with a mistletoe arrow, if my memory serves. And, uh... Um... I think it was her mother. It might have been someone else. Oh, yeah, but went down there was to, the... The bad guy in, went the, down to he in the God of War remake. Or, well, not exactly. Oh, right. I wouldn't know that. Well, not they went down to uh, the underworld and took him back from hell forcefully. Which oh pissed her to fuck off. Yeah, no shit. Britra, the calamity of the Banner's creature, created to overturn the prescripts of the end. It slumbers in an ank. Storing energy until that day arrives. Well, we know one of the next bosses. Yep. But more importantly. This is the Divine Fortress, where the Acer crew preside over their banished captives. Also, is have you noticed the icon of the Divine Fortress? The two crows. Mm-hmm. Or ravens. I forget. Crow, raven, same fucking thing. Someone's gonna get pissed off at me saying that. <laughs> Probably. I'm assuming you know the uh, mythological reference with them. Yep. The eyes of Odin, after all. Oh. Yep. Ayer acquired. Ayer. Uh, that's not the right. I already read that one. Uh, it's not here. Oh. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the fading. Oh. Okay then. Female drive fading. Six child. Hmm. There's a reason why now they are distinguishing by tribe. Hmm. One of the few surviving fairies in Eglana, Air has the ability to rejuvenate humans who have grown weary. She is a little shy around people, however. So it's the heal fairy. Yep. Uh huh. The, mi the migratory ravens hugging and mooning, Odin's mm -hmm. servants yeah. and protectors of a sigil. We need that. Like, I've forgotten the names, but I remembered them. It's kind of, it was kind of funny. It was, uh, the only reason I remember half of this stuff. Tear, the knight. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what you were saying? Uh, an old Xbox 360 game called Two Human, where it's basically huh. you played in, uh, um, basically cyber-enhanced Balder. Well then. It was a trip, man. <laughs> okay then. I have heard that the trickster of Yggdrasil has been freed. I saw a light fly toward Valhalla. I believe he came back for the purpose of reawakening Britra. Our own race created this disaster. It is the beginning of the end. Were you not listening? No, I was listening. Not, like, were you not listening? No, oh, no, I was listening and I had absolutely nothing to do with so? it. Eglena Ruins Dictionary, Cross Map, a mural depicting two migratory crows. Well, now you have it, it's a cross. While ostensibly an illustration of Hogan and Munin, some say it represents the Divine Fortress itself. Yeah, I remember that I can scan the background. Also, Tyr. A member of the Odin, the Acer's rolling party. Tyr is a genie swordsman hailed as a god of war. His right arm was gnawed off when he sealed away Fen Fenrir, a monster born to the Trister of Yggdrasil. Hmm. More importantly, Hugin and Munin. Okay, here's the real question. Which one's which? Um, Damn, they, they stopped. That's because the other one tends to... 
take longer to actually start flying, so I kind of home in on him. You can tell why. Yeah. Do you think their head scene movement is... ...difficult? Whack, 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 whack. Oh, come on. Barely. But barely is just fine. There's a seal down in the corner. I know. And there's a seal right over here. Coincidentally, they match. Yes, that's just a way down. <laughs> Which doesn't really matter because we're going to teleport out immediately. <laughs> Which we're going to do because hurt. Yeah. Amusingly, there's a, there's a randomizer for board games that are still mostly working on the second one. Hmm. I tried it once and I went up there and got the item and then forgot I could just teleport out, so I was really confused for a few moments. <laughs> because, you know, it wasn't a seal. <laughs> Go figure. Anyway... There was also a seal over here. Hmm. Well, you know what that symbol represents? It's the knife! Oh well, back to the Divine Fortress. Actually... Mm, no, no, we can leave the Divine Fortress for later. There's one other seal we could find here. Ribbit, motherfucker, damn! Yeah, they, they do jump quite far. Down, I probably should have just jumped down from. Eh, details. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. Oh well. You don't know that area. I know, Finn. On me. There's another weapon or something there. Yep. Push the white box, it says. Sure, I think. It doesn't seriously expect me to push it with my puny human arms, does it? It's gonna focus my chin. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't know Kung Fu. Okay, then. And we're falling down. <laughs> well, that was fast. There you work. This is an offen, the last version of resistance against those who seek to control a gland. And if you, oh, yeah, and if you look at the symbol there, I'm pretty sure that's part of the trunk. Maybe. Now you got me curious. Because it's also got a couple other runs around it. Did you pay attention? Yeah. Yay, more money. We're going to need it. It's hilarious when one of the first things to pop up when you type in on is open La Melona 2. Yeah, it's not exactly a common name nowadays, is it? Nope. It appears to oh be boy. Welsh. Hmm. Kosugi research papers. What's the W you just picked up? Your dad's research papers? What's he doing using those? Originally, I contracted your dad and grandpa to investigate the ruins, and then you showed up for some reason. Aren't they possibly already in a clan, eh? And your dad turning his research papers into an app. That's pretty valid. 
So yeah, we have this now. You want the lore, right? Oh boy. You want the uh, lore, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a question for later. That's a question for the wiki on my own time. Pog. Oh, fantastic. I went and died. Thanks, Aglana. All I ever wanted out of life was to translate dirty games and play around with my phone. How am I supposed to do either of those without skin? To anyone who might stumble across this message, seriously, sit down and write that visual number of yours, you're not gonna be around forever. Hi, Maito. Oh, and can you feed my dogs for me too? Thanks. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Uh... Oh shit, it's a vibes on hit from that. The Alphurseer's Prophecy. The Alphurseer saw the world Often, often, the fall of the mighty, the inhabitants scorched away by conflict, Yggdrasil awakens. So the red star that grants a wish that is hold at the final gate. We're gonna go well, for that later. References, Norse, I got nothing. Makara. I guess it's a good time to start looking at the glossary. Makara, a bizarre fish with a long nose like an elephant's trunk. They keep this nose curled up, striking out when they spot an enemy. Their small legs give, give them just enough strength to crawl about on land, though some are said to have sturdy, powerful legs. Drops rolling mm -hmm. shuriken. Not like we have any yet. Yeah. And Tog. Tog is an amorphous creature with the head of a frog. He relentlessly appears from stone faces carved into the ruins. This is the original from which the dog found in La Mulana ruins was copied. The ori this original dog is far more aggressive than his copies, and he inflates himself to guard against attacks. Copies, huh? Yeah, you know, the there were some of those in La Mulana. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But the uh, notion that one enemy is a copy of something from Megalana does not bode well. Mm -hmm. Power, power shall be bestowed upon G who pushes the white box. See, the thing about that is, we can't. Hmm. So there's something else to it. We're not strong also, enough. Was that a, also, was that a fucking uh, fairy door? Uh, maybe. Eglana forms the body of the original child. The Loka Palace came to control Eglana at their, at their win, but they were opposed by another race, us. We of the Alphor are loyal to the fairy king, Frey. Mm. So, hello. Yeah, we can't really do much with that yet. No shit. Yeah, yeah like, Ow. well done. Yeah, it's like up, uh, up at the top, I swear I saw a... Uh... Fairy door. Hold up, there's something written on the face. Yes, there is. Glim Kukulkan Sputerio. What's a Terrian? Archaeology Dictionary. Kukulkan Stone Statue. There's a striking, striking, ah, striking resemblance to Kukulkan, the supreme, supreme deity of Mayan mythology, and one of the creator deities. It said one of the three attempts to create humanity was made a Kukulkan, and that he eventually bestowed civilization upon them. Hmm. Well, you don't exactly need to know what a Piterion is now, because it's not that hard to see. Fair enough. Frey, acquired! Speaking of Frey... Male, Alphor. Six child. King of the Alphor tribe of the six children. Frey was made king at the time of their creation, but over many long years his body has weakened. He planned to rebel against the mother for destroying multiple civilizations, but in his declining strength he can barely stay on top of his enemies in the planet. The tribe, fairy basically. The fairy king's mausoleum lies ahead. The resting place of the Alphor King who foresaw Eglana's future. 
the first. But <laughs> my name is Frey. I am king of the fairies. Who sets foot here on my land? Do you possess power? Of course. If you have power, then I shall lend you mine also. See my sister Freya and receive from her a symbol proving your power. Then you shall receive the power of the fairies. Yo, he's kind of missing a hand. Yeah, you think? The old, ba the old badger is uh, not feeling too good. Mm -hmm. Are you going to meet the fairy queen? Construction of the path leading from the mausoleum of the giants to the endless corridor will be finished by the time you get back here. Oh yeah, you know that place that's supposed to be a backside room? Yeah, but then, you know, Tiamat happened. And Tiamat decided to be a troll. Yeah. Boldly go beyond the watery divide. Mm, I don't think it's a good idea. The puddles of water inside the ruins are poisonous. I mean, these ruins are set on killing the hell out of any intruders. There's a treasure called the scale sphere that contacts the poison. Also, you know how to swim? Use the jump button to swim in the water. Even without swimming, you can kind of wait through, Tom. True, too. When you want to get out, swim while going upward. You gotta stay motivated to keep moving up. Moving on up, you know? Four decisions. Four decisions. <laughs> Spicy. Well, hello there. I'm so glad I just remembered that. Agashura. Agashura is a malevolent good who takes the form of a snake's head. He waits at the entrance of the ruins, waiting to ambush humans who walk by. His belly is filled with a stench so foul that anyone unlucky enough to get swallowed up would be driven enough to force their way out. Huh. As if there aren't too many of those. Yeah. Well, hello there. So, we finally meet. Indeed. It's best gear! My name is Morbrook. Like the Elder and the Philosophers, I too am one of the seven children. Except I'm like much more young and hip, so I bounced from those ruins and have been traveling the world lately. Uh huh. Next to your dad solving the mystery of the Lemulene ruins, and then boosting the hell out of those ruins, I was able to break free from the mother's bones and live my life however I want to. I'm super smart, so I've been working as an investigator on lots of different ruins around the outside world. Then the elder called me back here and told me to help you out. You've been kinda green, huh? So, what's your name? Lumisa? Awesome! Nice to meet you, Lumisa! I'm gonna take advantage of my impressive agility and check out the deeper part areas of the ruins. I got your address from the elder, so I'll contact you if I find anything. If you don't hear from me, I'm probably just taking a nap somewhere. Anyways, <laughs> lay there's! Yep. Still a narcoleptic, I guess. And she still, she did just randomly put on sunglasses you, in the middle of the ruins. just shades. And clunk. <laughs> I guess it's nap time! I cannot scan her. Oh, water statue. Chilatillion. To Lexico Cotitlan. Listen, I don't do Spanish, okay? I try. Hey, you did a better job than I did. Probably. The Titan race of the second children was wiped out. Their only remaining traces are their lands in their branch in the branches. Set sail, and you will be guided to the Shrine of the Frost Giants. Sure, let's go have a meeting with Ymir, because I'm guessing he's, a, he's up next. Abandon your desires. Do not lie your gaze upon them. Power will be bestowed upon those who can turn them back, their backs on their desires. Well, if you do this, you get Kanda. Right, so let's go back out. And look back. Hmm. 
Shut up, Matt. Hey, it's the gloves! We need it there! Oh yes, the Titan Glove! A glove that can bust up a ballista. Equipped to move blocks. Also, shooting me just once wasn't enough? Nope. So I'm just gonna open that. So we're just gonna leave her there. Eh, she'll get better. I want to get my weapon. Also, save. I got your account info from the Elder. I'll send a message if anything comes up. It looks like you can proceed to the right of Adanofen, right? You probably have to. Like, get in from a different area. Alright, I'm gonna find that entrance for you. You go check out the area, pass the nothing now. Oh, she woke up fast. Yo. I guess that's part of the benefit of having slept, you know, like a couple hundred years. You don't need very, very long naps. Yeah, sounds about right. Whack. Wish. Yep. Very satisfying that was. Rolling shuriken. The rolling shuriken. It's actually useful in this game. You see, we see on the flanks. Is, it, is, it, is that have anything to do with fairies, or is that just iconography? Huh? What? See? Oh, yeah, it's got to do with fairies. I mean, we are. This is basically the land of the fairies. I mean, yeah, that's fair. So there's a lot of fiery iconography every. Whack. Well done. Oh, did that shit just break? Yeah. Let's go here. And then you can... And I love she just calmly freezes in midair. Takes out the sushi board. Yup. Well, motherfucker, I'm hungry. Oh, wait, that is actually what we need to do right now. Kinda. Actually, it's probably faster from here. Whoosh. A whoosh! That face of the mother over the... Uh... Oh yeah. Right over the entrance. Yeah. From the mother. It's almost like she's looking out for her child. <laughs> well, on the other side, you know. Like, directly on the other side of that door. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm kind of disappointed that it, they didn't try to um, make a tune for uh, a remake of each area's tune as you go through it, but in a different version. That would be kind of cool. Oh, sweet mother, what? It's fairies. That's a lot of fairies. Also, yeah, that's just the surface right over there. I mean, you did kind of wreck the place. Hey, no, that was that. And so there goes the theory of it was just one fairy each. Oh, you're human. I suppose that means that the rubble was cleared from the mausoleum of the giants. It also means that I have to find a new place to live before people start flooding in. I am Freya, the Fairy Queen. You have a familiar scent about you. Are you the daughter of the man who released the mother's soul? But it in one! If you come to see me, I assume you've also met Frey, the Fairy King as well. How is my brother? Yes, I am another of the few remaining six children. Out of necessity of purpose, I work together with the seven children in planning for the sealing of the Lamulana ruins. So you've made it through my my brother's ordeal of the fairies. Please, pass this pendant onto my brother. With that, you shall have the fairies as allies in Eglana. Freya's pendant acquired. The ordeal of the what now? Ordeal of the fairies. What was that? Uh -huh. You saw me to bring him the pendant. Yeah, that's what I say. We didn't do no trial. Right away, there 
or something get that on me. If I start a curious can get caught up in common sense. I don't approve of damaging the ruins, but it's good to search for scalable places other than just ladders and stairs. Like places on walls or statues where you might be able to get a good grip or foothold. That's how you make new discoveries of things that normally wouldn't be found. Hey, I was trying to tell her this stuff. The early bird gets the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Also, these are the Mulana ruins. These fairies are just copies. That's why you they... make a fucking point. That's why the one from Eglana has a unique name. Bruh. Also, do you, so, do you remember there was a shop up here that said they would open once, you know, later? <laughs> we, but sure. We kind of forgot to go back and, you know, talk to him again. Hmm. Whack. I know I've already broken all the pots, so... Oh, so, so, like... Yeah, right here. Is the entirety of La Mulana just a front to hold the mother? No, La Mulana is the mother, or was, rather. Well, yeah. But then what's Eglana supposed to be? The child. That bothers me. Do you remember the subtitle of this game? Yes, like I said, it bothers me. Yeah, codices. Those are codices, ancient magic inscriptions. Fowers took them off from the Oh shit, yeah, that's useful. Yup. So freaking useful. Also, yeah, he's just telling an jewel. <laughs> we'll come back for that later. <laughs> as long as it's not a trap like that one in the... What, Chamber of Extinction? It's not. Okay. Yeah. Am I right? Was that the right one? Uh... I think it was the Twin Labyrinths, actually. Fuck! Well, there was also one in the Volcano... area whose name I forgot. What, a trap? a trapped aunt? Yeah. Huh. That is very spent. A true testimony to power. I shall lend you my power. Use it to bring forth the end. You know, for a king of fairies, he's got a lot of edge. <laughs> right. I shall grant you the powers of my servant, heir the fairy of life. The fairy light can summon fairies. I've made it visible to you. Touch it to bring the fairies to you. I am Air, a fairy. I have been ordered by Frey to help you. My power is the power of healing. I have the power to heal your injured body. Call on me when you've grown exhausted in your journey. See you again. Fairies, investigating these ruins would be a lot easier if they lent you their powers. They got various powers like health restoration. There were fairies in the ruins of La Mulana, but those were created with the Tree of Life, a machine used to create life itself. I heard from the fairy queen that the originals from which they were copied are trapped inside the glana. If you spring them free, I'm sure they will cooperate. Yep, that's right, we currently only have access to one of the fairies. Fun. You did get a glossary entry for that one, right? Or so. Heiner. Yep. Nope. Heiner obsessively observed. Oh, I was thinking of the dragon. Hmm? Oh, thinking of, um, the dragon thing. Ah. Heiner obsessively observed a giant called Argos, who would appear above ground. 
at the village. However, he gave up on his observation point to the philosopher Alcedan. Now Heiner has teamed up with Phobos to open a shop located in Terronis. Oh, he's the one that usually warned you about the big blue-white guy. Yeah, from Argo. Yeah. Also, he's 89 years old and he's still kicking. Race. Ancient. Like, he's not even labeled as one of the children, he's just ancient. <laughs> but Yo, the, what the fuck are you, bro? That probably refers to the seven children. We? Hmm, there it is. Bizarre fish with three buffalo like horns sprouting from their heads. Their bodies are encased in hard scales as they and they can walk on land with their legs of a land dwelling animal. Some say they can swallow an elephant whole. Must be a small elephant. Probably. Or they have like snake like mouths or something. Black. The Serpent King Kaliya is used the path to the virtual wise man. Hmm. We, we've heard that description before, haven't we? Maybe. There's a lot of stuff I don't remember. Anyway. Eh, I would have been caught by that so many times already. Yep. That was so very useful. But it existed, you needed to do it. Yes, yes indeed. Yes, I found the switch behind the wall. Um, now what? Indeed. Now this. Come here so I can kill you. Scan the mantra engraved walls. Their power holds. Their words hold power. Those with the Jet Pillar will be able to harness mantras. They will unleash the selecting of mantras curated by the virtual wise man. We're getting those rather early, aren't we? Also, hello Kalia. Oh, they found Kalia. Ow. Kind of an ass and a fairy fucked off. Perfect timing, right? At least we can see it's HP. Yeah, because she was just LOL later. Oh. <clears throat> Ow. Dead. Welp. Probably should have been more careful from the beginning. Oh shit, we missed that. Uh... Uh... A bit. Not that much, but oh well. Hope oh, you all have fun. We'll see you next time, and we'll be back with Galilla once we. in the next episode, so yeah. Bye bye.